Thank you, sir. I request the Vice Chancellor to read his report, please. Vice Chancellor, sir. Honorable Chief Guest, Prince Dr. Qaid Johar Ezuddin, Guest of Honor, Professor Takaki Kajita, Pro Vice Chancellor, Brigadier Sayyad Ahmed Ali, Treasurer, Professor Habibur Rahman, Registrar, Finance Officer, Controller of Examinations, Distinguished Members of the University Court, Executive Council, Academic Council, Chairholders and Cabinet of AMU Students Union, Students and Staff of Aligarh Muslim University, Recipients of Degrees, Ladies and Gentlemen, and Friends from the Media. Assalamu alaikum and Jai Hind. It is my great privilege to welcome you all to the 64th Annual Convocation, the fifth in the last four and a half years. Our chief guest, Dr. Uh, Prince Dr. Qaid Jor Ezuddin, is the brother of our Chancellor, His Holiness the Sayyidna. He is the special representative of His Holiness in social, cultural, economic, educational, and religious upliftment of humanity. His Holiness has sent special greetings extracts of which I would like to read out. Dear Vice Chancellor, during my days at Moharram, these were blessed and solemn days, I remembered you and your family, the Aligarh fraternity, as well as the Muslim community at large in my prayers. May Allah Ta'ala Continue to give us strength to serve one another, to come to the assistance and relief of the less fortunate, and to contribute towards the betterment of mankind. On the occasion of Aligarh Muslim University 64th Annual Convocation, I have asked my brother, Shahzada Dr. Qaid Johar Bhai Sahib Azuddin, to represent me at Aligarh Muslim University and to convey to you the Pro-Vice-Chancellor, Pro -Chancellor, Brigadier Sayyid Ahmed Ali, Professor Takaki Katija, and all students and faculty of Aligarh Muslim University, my salams, felicitations, and well wishes. I pray that the event is a success and that Aligarh Muslim University's good reputation as a prestigious an honorable institute of education continues to grow with our benediction, Sayyidna Mufaddal Saifuddin. It is a matter of pride for us that in our midst we have such a towering scholar and scientist, Nobel Laureate Professor Takaki Katija, Director Institute, <laughs> Director Institute of Cosmic Research, University of Tokyo, Japan. His presence is a befitting tribute because he stands out as a role model for academic excellence and for striving for the welfare of mankind. We are honored that one of our teachers, Professor Sajjad Athar, is associated with him in the field of research. I will now touch upon our consistent march towards attaining number one position in India. A large number of national and international academic ranking agencies have rated Aligarh Muslim University very near the top of the ranking ladder. The US News and World Report and the Times Higher Education London have graded AMU as the second best university of the country. The prestigious week Hansa Best Indian University Survey has rated your university as the fourth best in the country. 
the national institutional ranking framework government of india has placed amu as the sixth best university among the top 10 institutions of the country in the outlook survey of india's best professional colleges dr zakir hussain college of engineering and technology climbed from 46th to 35th position india today has placed our law faculty as the sixth best law school in the country our department of mathematics has been graded 69th best in the world our medical college is at 12th rank amongst 600 medical colleges of india and our fine arts department is the 10th best in the country we have been constantly trying to upgrade our medical facilities government of india under national health mission has sanctioned 16 crore for pediatric cardiology and pediatric cardiac surgery and rupees 8 crore for early intervention center of the pediatric department icmr has sanctioned rupees 6 crores for virology and lab in the department of microbiology we will soon be operationalizing the new pm ssy facilities which includes cardiac angiography and angioplasty cath lab equipment costing rupees 9 crores is being installed the heart lung machine for open cardiac surgery is also being installed recruitment of staff for all these faculties facilities is underway and should be completed by 15 december this year inshallah mou has been signed with fortis escorts hospital for training of doctors and paramedical staff for cath lab cardiac surgery and cardiac anesthesia i would like to report that this month the first open heart surgery was conducted at the jawaharlal nehru medical college the state of art auditorium at the medical college has now become fully functional thanks to the support of our american alumni i would also like to report that the unani medicine dawa khana has has been completed equipment for the same is being purchased and this dawa khana will be a competitor to other dawa khanas and make aligarh muslim university a financially viable institution other steps taken by us for academic excellence we have established the faculty of international studies with eight new departments faculty of environmental studies with three new departments and institute of pharmacy have been approved we run b walk degrees in four vocations at the community college we have established the interdisciplinary center for remote sensing and gis and our two ed two year b ed m ed and m p ed programs are underway we are laying stress on nanotechnology which will have profound effect on conserving the dwindling resources of planet earth our nano fertilizers will herald the second green revolution and help in desalinization of sea water without energy costs that should take care of fresh water for our coastal cities our research in recycling waste water through plant technology termed anaerobic digestion will alleviate the perennial shortage of fresh water our scientists are deeply involved in projects ganga and yamuna these rivers are sacred to us too our research in harnessing solar energy for automotive purposes will reduce our dependence on fossil fuels for consolidating our top rank 
as an academic institution, we have established the following monitoring and mentoring entities. First is the inter Internal Quality Assurance Cell, the Innovation and Research Council, and Committee for Academic Progression, and University Ranking. Hundreds of university and school teachers have been promoted and inducted, and they will be the backbone of Aligal Muslim University in the days ahead, inshallah. The Shad Goda Ganga Project repository of e-thesis has been fully implemented. The university assigned several MOUs with prestigious universities and institutions, including Al Mustafa University, Iran, University of Maldives and National Informatics Center, a MOU with Ohio State University has been renewed. In pursuance of the aim of ensuring quality education and research, 19 patents have been filed by us. 102 research projects with a grant of almost eight of 80 crores have been sanctioned. Our 10 university schools have been functioning under the supervision of the Directorate of School Education. Our Chancellor has gifted 1,000 computers. These have arrived and are being distributed and we intend starting computer classes from class 1 onwards. Our Social Science Library ISO certified is currently being accessed in 142 countries and has been selected for the Limca Book of Records 2017. Our faculty published 141 books, 2,772 papers in national and international journals. We organized 132 national and international seminars and workshops. Our students have done very well in prestigious examinations. 139 qualified on net, 259 on gate, and 89 JRF. Students of the mechanical engineering designed and presented a Formula One racing car which won accolades in the auto ex exhibition recently in the United Kingdom. Other feathers in our cap is that a large number of our faculty members have won prestigious awards and appointments. Their names are too numerous to mention, but are given in the written report of the Vice Chancellor. We are taking care to preserve our rich cultural heritage and heritage. We have preserved and restored all heritage buildings on the campus. Stretchy Hall, built in 1877, has been fully renovated and restored with the generous grant of Alana Group Industries. The University Jama Masjid, built in 1879, has been renovated thanks to the generous donation of our alumni, teachers and students. The Sayyidna Tahir Saifuddin School, built in 1909, is also being restored to its former glory by our Chancellor. Extensive renovation work has been completed at the Kennedy Hall Auditorium. We have taken care to improve infrastructure. The new Frank and Debbie Islam management complex is near completion and will be done and the faculty should move in by December this year. The Musa Dakri Museum and Moidin Arts Gallery are showpieces of world standing. Dr. Nadeem Tareen has undertaken construction of another 1,000 capacity Ambedkar Hall annexe, which will be upgraded and renamed as a full-fledged hostel. The Riyadh Hostel is under progress. It will cater for 
2,000 male students. The total number of smart classrooms has risen to 72. The Yusuf Ali Sports Complex with an Olympic sized swimming pool is ready due to the generous grant of Dr. Yusuf Ali. An Olympic sized swimming pool is also under construction in the Women's College and will be ready by the summer of 2017. Aligarh Muslim University will be the first university with three swimming pools. Work on our solar farm is about to commence. This will reduce our huge energy costs and electricity bills. The World Alumni Meet was held on 15th and 16th October this year, which attracted hundreds of alumni from both the country and overseas. We have not forgotten our engagement with social engineering. As a premier institution, we are committed to nation building, ensuring social justice, providing medical relief, and ameliorating the lot of the underprivileged and marginalized sections of society. Our Department of Community Medicine, National Service Scheme, and Social Service Committee have been engaged in this endeavor. Department of Social Work has been de designated as the nodal agency for Unnat Bharat Abhiyan, an initiative of the Government of India. For imparting education to the financially deprived sections of the society, our Center for Distant Education has more than 6,700 students under 32 centers all over the country. Our Amadi School for the visually challenged students provides them both mainstream and vocational education. The bridge course for the graduates of the Dini Madarsas has received a special grant from the Ministry of Minority Affairs. The UGC Human Resource Development Center AMU has been regularly organizing courses for the professional development of university and college teachers. Around 1,000 teachers have been trained so far. As part of the Calum project, 29 skill-based courses for minority managed degree colleges were held, which benefited 1,327 teachers across the country. Our off-campus centers have been running very well and the courses run by them are receiving due recognition. We intend celebrating Sir Sayyid's bicentenary celebrations from 17th October 2017. This will mark the bicentenary of the founder of our great institution, Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. A broad-based committee consisting of eminent academics and administrators has been set up to arrange for a variety of programs for one year starting from October 2016. Commemorative value, volumes in both English and Urdu and other writing on the multifaceted genius of Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan were released on 17th October 2016. The stamp design and essay writing competition have also been held. An impressive exhibition of historic photographs of the founder and the Aligarh movement have been organized at the University Arts Gallery and I request all of you to visit that gallery. A series of events have been planned for spreading the mission and life of Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. Towards this, a laser show is scheduled this evening and I would request all of you to witness it. It will be a breathtaking display of laser technology. We have taken care of women empowerment. We take pride in the fact that 42% of our students are women. Career Planning Center at the Women's College 
and the women's college uh, polytechnic facilities provide jobs and placements for our girls. An equal opportunity cell takes special care of deprived sections like scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, and other backward tribes. The Committee for Sexual Harassment and for Gender Sensitization is keeping a hawk's eye to pre ensure protection, fairness, and equality for our girl students. A word about the Students' Union. It is heartening that Aligarh Muslim University Students' Union election was conducted peacefully and smoothly in early October 2016. We are confident that this vibrant democratic institution will stand by the administration in its endeavor to make Aligarh Muslim University the topmost university of the country. A word about minority character. The AMU Amendment Act of 1981 mandated Aligarh Muslim University to work for the cultural and educa educational advancement of Muslims of India. We will safeguard our minority institution. That is my assurance to all of you. For us, it is a matter of life and death and we shall not flag or fail in this duty. The case is sub judice in Honorable Supreme Court and we shall win. I have never lost in my life. You are aware of the flea bites inflicted on predecessors, my predecessors at AMU at the fag end of the innings. These flea bites will not deter us from our mission and work. At the end, let me congratulate all the AMU students graduating today and the medal recipients. I am sure they will carve out a great niche for themselves in the world and bring laurels to the alma mater and the country. May God bless you all. Jai Hind.